A top of the morning and a salutations. Thank you so much for staying with us here on ZBC's Good Morning Zimbabwe. Of course, you're tuned in to your favorite segment that is uh, trending with Curtly that keeps a face and a voice to every side of the story. And today we're doing things a little different and uh, all the way from uh, Detroit in the United States, uh, we have a special guest that is joining us and uh, we are going to delve into a little bit of the intricacies of what the book Build It Beyond stands for. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and introduce our special guest in studio who is a speaker and author as well as a coach, Anita Willis. Anita, such a pleasure to have you in studio. Thank you much it's a pleasure to be here all yes. the way from the united states oh yes <laughs> you always have to put it out there absolutely you stay representing and uh, welcome to zimbabwe it is your first experience here in zimbabwe yes actually even to africa it has been a dream of mine i did not know that i would start in zimbabwe but when opportunity presented itself i grabbed it oh yeah yeah most yeah. definitely and how has your experience in zimbabwe been so far the truth I love it. <laughs> the jacaranda tree. I mean, it's not favorable towards It's a very me, excellent it's season for you to be around, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. I've enjoyed the food. I've enjoyed um, just traveling through Zimbabwe. I had the opportunity to go to Big Falls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we've More had a great time. the smoke that thunders. I hope, ah. I, I hope you had a lot of fun there. <laughs> I did. I actually did. It was, it was phenomenal. Definitely. It was phenomenal. Truly a wonder of the world. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And, and getting into the business of the day and what we are trending with uh, today, yes. uh, it's Build It Beyond, which is your book, yes, um, yes. your piece of work. Yes. Um, I would like to call it a best selling uh, piece, actually. I'll take it. I'll <laughs> You'll take, take it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that is um, your, 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 your prized possession right now. Yes, and um, yes. uh, what I know about this book and what I've understood, I know you did take um, a bit of uh, time to get me back my second copy. But yes. <laughs> with, what I got <laughs> in, with what I got for the, for the little minutes that, yes, I, that yes. I managed to uh, peruse through it, yes. um, you speak about four concepts or four parts yes. in this particular book, yes. which is uh, recognize your truth, accept your truth, embrace your truth, and build your platform. Yes. Can you take us through um, what Build It Beyond is about sure. and uh, perhaps what these four core principles stand for? Sure. Uh, one, the main statement that I like to make is the choice to move forward is always yours. Uh, you have the opportunity at any given point in your life, career, whatever the case may be, to move forward. But sometimes, as we know in life, right, stuff happens. And when it happens, sometimes it's very difficult to recapture the zeal, the, the excitement that you have when you first start. Life happens and you have to re-navigate. How do you do that? The first thing you have to do, as the book says, is recognize your truth. Mm -hmm. You know the good, you know the bad, you know mm -hmm. the ugly, but sometimes the ugly is uglier than you expected. Yes, and definitely. in order to rebuild, to recalibrate, to stay true to your authentic self, oh, yeah. you have to own it. Oh yeah. You know, we use the example of procrastination and, and some people say that procrastination assassinates any vision, it assassinates mm. any purpose. But when you find you reach that plateau, mm. that's the time you have to do introspection and literally do just what the book says is recognize your truth and then accept it. Mm. But the key point is embracing your worth. Oh yeah. And that's where the work begins. That's where the heart work begins. This book is not somebody else's information. It's my oh, yeah. life. I've lost everything three times in my life. Okay. Okay. The only way for me to come back together is to get back to my core, my core values, mm. the things that matter most, my non-negotiables. Oh, yeah. And I had to own the mistakes. But then, of course, if you're going to own your truth, you have to own the fact that you have the ability, the capability, and the probability. Okay. Right? To make it again, right? To build it beyond. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and there's something you put emphasis on, um, something you've mentioned, sure. um, which is value. Yes. What is the essence of value or what, how much gravitas does value have Thank in you. terms of um, just being a whole person? Sure, sure. If you know your value, you know your worth. Yes. And that's not dictated by what somebody else says. Okay. Right? So when you understand your value and the value of it, then you begin to negotiate your yes mm. when you do something and qualify your no. Mm. And what I mean by that mm. is this. If, for example, someone invites you to take part in a, a, a procedure or an event or something like that, mm -hmm. and you understand what it means for you, the values, 
that are important to you mm -hmm. in order to show up the way you want to show up, Absolutely. then you literally have to live that out. And sometimes where you want to say yes, you have to say no because you understand the value of your values, the things that make up your character. Mm. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, it does, right, it does. Cool, to me cool. it does. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and many of our viewers watching <laughs> would obviously understand the fact that, exactly. um, you know, it's not just your mission, it's not just your vision, but even your value system. Yes, your value system aligned. guides your service model. For example, I was in business for over 30 years as a therapeutic esthetician, mm. and inside of that venue, I literally would coach executive women, those oh, yeah. aspiring, whatever. But it was my service model that revealed my character. Mm. And that's what drew the people. Mm. That's what sustained the business and my practices in it. So yeah, your values do play a great part. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, taking yeah, a look at your book, you. many quotes. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, you're dropping gems. Thank you. Um, here on Trending with Kurt Lee, I'll put it categorically clear. Uh, we have never reviewed a book the way that we are doing it oh, now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm the first. You are the first. I'm the first. You are a groundbreaking okay, mission. Okay, now. That's what right I'm talking now. about. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. So we're excited to have it. you. And, um, you know, taking a look at some of the quotes, I do know that um, there is a rich um, spiritual element that mm -hmm. comes um, with um, some of the quotes, not just the quotes, but mm -hmm. even um, the nature and uh, style of writing. Mm -hmm. um, take us through how um, the spiritual aspect of the inspiration behind the book has played an integral role with this final product we oh, see. Oh, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Mm. That's not often people will ask. Absolutely. But yeah. you're special, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, here's the it thing. It is a groundbreaking mission. Yeah, it is. Doing. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> I love it. Uh, the, the organization that I, I founded is designed to inspire and er encourage one million individuals to take action concerning their self-care, mm. spirit, soul, and body. Okay. And without self-acceptance, there is no self-love. Mm. So when you have that spiritual component, whatever your worship experience is about, mm -hmm. you want to start there. You see, that's not my choice to dictate for someone else. Okay. But this book is founded upon how I lived my life, how I overcame uh, being physically abused, how I overcame losing everything Mm -hmm. Except my car, my clothes, and my computer. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I had to get back to my North Star, which is my faith. Mm. Once I was grounded in my faith again, then I began to build with my skills, the academics. Mm. Sure, I may have a master's in leadership. I may be internationally trained and mm. abil the ability to certify others. Yes. That doesn't mean anything, honey, <laughs> when the storm comes, right? Good on you, yeah. Literally. Yeah. And so we all have that human experience that's the same regardless to what content we live on but the context of how we make it through that's individual absolutely you got to personalize that thing and embrace your worth and then build a platform that you can launch your life absolutely and build it beyond yeah and, and build it beyond <laughs> you know I got that well I don't know I gotta you, do you, it now. you just had to <laughs> <laughs> plug that in right there absolutely and you know one of the reasons why we found you was um, you know social media here on trending with Kurt mm -hmm. we really have a very um, strict analysis of numbers and what um, mm. social media can produce. Yes. How has social media played a role in terms of uh, building this narrative of um, what you are saying in this book, which is Build It Beyond? Um, how are you managing to channel uh, this message out there? Oh, sure. I literally use every opportunity that I can, mm -hmm. you know, from, as you know, from Facebook mm. on Twitter, LinkedIn, uh -huh. all of those. But mostly Say I'm it louder because okay, okay. many people don't <laughs> understand what social okay, media, I got you now. I got you. I <laughs> what the you. power of social media yeah. is. It's, it's, it's a necessary, mm. you know, as I told you, I celebrated 65 just last week, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Most of my generation have no clue mm. of how they're always talking about they want to go national, international. They want to touch the world. Mm -hmm. You touch it through media. Mm -hmm. You touch it through social media. Mm -hmm. So I use Facebook. I use YouTube. I use all LinkedIn and things of that nature, and I get involved in having real, real life conversations about what real people go through. Not the ones that are just touting and spouting about all of their degrees and things of that nature, because when the rubber meets the road, you're human. Mm -hmm. And when you have that relational conversation on social media, people follow. 45% of the people that follow are men, and I'm talking about issues about women because the values are there. The values. We're human, right? They're constant. They're constant, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, Anita Willis, author of Build It Beyond. Many Zimbabweans, a plethora of Zimbabweans are watching you right now. What is your message to Zimbabwe? And uh, how best do you think um, you can send something out um, that will sum up this book, perhaps, mm. on it's, national television? Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Um, the same thing I've been saying as I meet different people, we literally have our own experiences. And sometimes when we're going through those experiences, things happen that cause us to not even believe in ourselves. So this is what I would say. This time, this time, trust that you can, you will build it beyond. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Jo joining us all the way from <laughs> uh, the United States of America, from Detroit in particular, that has been Anita Willis, author, speaker, coach, trainer as well as um, you know, someone who inspires. I, I think you aspire to inspire before you expire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's a message I right like there. that. I've summed that up <laughs> Thank in, you. In, in, that, in that manner. And yeah. um, if you give me the latitude, I would also like to say that um, this is a best-selling book and as well as um, something that here on Training with Curtly we don't usually do. But um, because it has been you know, a message that um, has been resonating with me, even with my value systems, I believe that a Build It Beyond should be the next book um, that you should buy. How do we get access to this book? Right now, we are um, very grateful to be at Celebration Church Worldwide yeah. Bookstore, mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to uh, getting in more bookstores locally and mm. even online okay. so that Zimbabweans will have. Absolutely. Yeah. And I will say this, that we've uh, priced it for the market, Okay. all right, so that uh, the advantages that everybody having that opportunity will okay. be there. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. And the IBH Image Center? Yes. Can yes. you give us a little bit, a about, little bit about it? What that sure. IBH, um, IBH means in the beauty of wholeness. Mm -hmm. And everybody says, why did you use, why didn't you use W? Because it doesn't work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Who is going to say IBW? But they will say IBH and yeah. it's been branded and people know it. They'll say, I know what that is. If you Google it, IBH Image Center will mm. come in. Because it's not about how you look, it's how you think. Yeah. If you change your mind, you'll change your choices. Absolutely. And that's what we promote. And beauty is not just surface. It's the mindset as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. <laughs> Absolutely. This has yeah. been an exciting yeah. session here on Earth Trending with Kurt Lee. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, indeed, your favorite segment here on ZBC's A Good Morning as Zimbabwe. Always making sure we put a face and a voice to every side of the story. Today's story had to do with Anita Willis and a Build It a Beyond. My name is Kurt Lee Gwindy. Kurt by name and a not by nature at Trending with Kurt Lee on all social media platforms. Do engage with our content. We'll engage right back. Tweet us and we'll tweet you right back at Kurt Lee Gwindy on my social media pages. And uh, on that note, we'll take a short break. But good morning, Zimbabwe will return. Please stay tuned.